In this video, I'm going to show you guys some VOD reviews I've done for my friend Stark, his issues, and my suggestions. Stark's a very skilled player, and he's pretty knowledgeable, so this was more him helping me work on my VOD review skills than it was me helping him improve. Basically, I'd just point out what stood out to me each run, and he'd say whether he thought my takes were right, wrong, whatever. So first, we have a popcorn run he did. This was a Nova score, and it was pretty close to Astra. In his words, he choked. So what stood out to me about this VOD was that a lot of the time he just wouldn't adjust and let the target fall into his crosshair. I pointed this out to Stark and he thought that it was the optimal strategy to the, for the scenario. I thought back and I thought I remembered from Rid's old dynamic guide hearing that there's a lower skill ceiling on waiting and not adjusting. However, here we see a run that's the seventh run in the world and it's using the strategy. So the question became, is Stark's strategy suboptimal or is this theoretical skill ceiling unachievable and popcorn. I decided to look into Matty OW's world record popcorn VOD. Instead, what I found is that Matty actually has an amazing popcorn guide in which he talks about how he thinks waiting for the ball to hit your crosshair is in fact the optimal strategy. So in this case, I'd say that Stark's not making a mistake. I even ended up going as far as to text Rid, and he agrees with me on this point. Stark wasn't making a mistake. That advice I must have remembered hearing from him was for different scenarios like Passu. But then I started to get this question of what scenarios is it actually bad to wait for the target to hit your crosshair so obviously in scenarios like passu where the bot could dodge your crosshair waiting is a useless strategy i'd say the two main factors in deciding this for predictable bots are the pace and the success rate in popcorn you need to be very accurate due to one shot reload but not that fast as the world record isn't even 50 targets in 60 seconds so waiting a bit can make sense in b180 you need to go a lot faster waiting could kill your time and just kill your run even if you're only hitting 50 targets in a minute i'd say it's still important to practice good techniques and also your reading skills and timing probably aren't that great so waiting for the bot to cross your crosshair wouldn't really be that optimal for you but you'll notice that a lot of the top runs in popcorn don't only include waiting for the target to fall into the crosshair. There are some adjustments. Maddie says this is what players do when they are very comfortable with the bots and very skilled at hitting the shots. I say everyone should be practicing this and probably practicing it more than they practice letting the ball bot fall into their crosshair because it's a lot easier to just let it fall into your crosshair. If you like aim-related VODs, both Kovacs VODs like this, as well as in-game VODs where I will recommend Kovacs scenarios, make sure you subscribe to see those. The other thing about Stark's VOD that I noticed was that the higher he got, the less likely he was to hit a target. This led me to the conclusion that he isn't entirely comfortable with how vertical motion distorts the feeling of your aim. If you're not sure what I mean by this, I explained it towards the end of my recent sensitivity guide, feel free to check that out. But for the sake of this video, what I'd recommend is practicing vertical aim, like Ego Death, if you feel this affects you as well. Next up we have Stark's Ground Plaza Voltaic Invincible 1 VOD. Basically this is just the first bot of Ground Plaza Voltaic, but it's invincible so it, it's just total hits in a minute. Pretty simple concept. Now if you look at this VOD, the first thing I noticed is that oftentimes Stark will make adjustments really quickly, causing him to overcorrect and be off the ball on the other side. So for this I recommended focusing on smoother, cleaner adjustments to prevent the whole second adjustment thing. The adjustment will be slower, but the total time off target will be reduced as well. I also recommended edge tracking more as Stark doesn't edge track at all. Edge tracking is the action of placing your crosser at the edge of the target opposite to its direction of movement so that when it switches directions you're given more time to react. I also noticed that Stark over flicks on the bot's blinks, to which he said that it was an intentional strategy to beat the bot to a more viable position, kinda like how a lot of people say it's better to under flick than it is to over flick. Now if you want to see me go over some Stark's Astro VODs or some of Matty Overwatch's world records, make sure you subscribe because I'm going to do a similar thing with both of them soon.